Hey guys, um, let's talk about where I've been, what's going on, why I was gone. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I missed you guys. Let's talk about what happened, what's going on, why I was gone for a week. So, um, last, not last Thursday, Thursday before that, the Thursday before I took my break, um, I started getting really intense back pain. Pretty, pretty intense. Now, mind you, there's going to be some TMI information, so I'll leave, like, a timestamp or something for when I'm done talking about what happened to me, if you guys don't want to care about it. Um, and then other things, life updates and all of that is also going to be in this video. So, um, here is where you can go if you don't want to hear about what happened. All right. So, um, I'm in Jameson's room, the only quiet place in the house. Um, so there's that. So when we got back from vacation, from going to Arizona, I started my period. Didn't think anything of it. Um, I was on birth control. Everything was fine. Um, and that period lasted 14 days. Seven days, super heavy, and then it lightly drifted off. I thought it was because of my birth control is why it happened like that. However, it was not. Um, and then... About, I had like four days off, and then I started again. I called my OBGYN. I let her know what was going on. They wanted to get me in as soon as possible, and as soon as they could get me in was two weeks after that. So, I bled for the entire two weeks after. Um, they told me signs if I had this, that, and the other to go to the emergency room, to the hospital, whatever. Um, I did not have those signs, so I did not go. Uh, so, I saw the OB. I ended my cycle the day before I saw my OB. Or two days before I saw my OB. That whole day, though, prior to seeing my OB and the day I saw my OB, there was still blood in my urine. But when I wiped, there was nothing uh, I wore a liner, a panty liner, and there was nothing. Um, I knew that I couldn't wear tampons this time because of everything going on. After you bleed for a week, they ask you not to wear tampons for toxic shock syndrome, whatever. So I didn't. I wore both. It doesn't matter to me. So, um, yeah, I was super freaked out about what was going on. She then said, what have your symptoms been for the last month? Um, did you have symptoms prior to being on your cycle? What is going on? So I explained to her that my back hurts. My back is killing me. Now, mind you, I have nerve damage in my back from my C-section and my epidural. Um, from getting my epidural. So I knew... I know my normal back pain, which is normally about a six to eight, eight at my highest. Um, I am on medication and nerve damaging medication and all of that. I'm on nerve medication, pain medication, things like that through pain management because of my injuries, um, which is why I can't work. So, uh... I told her everything and she said, well, what's your pain normally? Because it's in there that I have chronic back pain uh, from injury. And I said, normally it's about an eight at my highest, but I've been screaming, like in excruciating pain, crying because my back is killing me. And she said, okay, I need you to get into your regular primary care physician. I think it's your kidneys. I freaked out. 
<laughs> um, I had kidney stones nine years ago. I know how they feel. And at first I didn't think anything of it being my kidneys. I, because I was, I was on my period. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. Lo and behold, I had a kidney infection, a bladder infection, kidney stones, and a gallbladder infection all at once. Um, I'm still in pain. Yes. Is it bearable now? Yes. I was put on antibiotics and everything like that, so it's not nothing to be concerned about right now. I do have to go back in two weeks. If the back pain is still there, that means that there's a kidney stone lodged and cannot come out. I am on medication to try to get them to break apart uh, because they're big. So, and if I can't, then they will blast them. Um, we haven't got to that stage yet, which is good, but as of right now, I have three kidney stones, two in one side, one in the other, and they're all three huge. So I do think I passed, and I had a whole bunch of tiny ones, uh, but they're more concerned about the three. Um, I think I did pass small ones, um, or should I say, I know I passed small ones, but I don't know if I passed the small ones or if one of the other ones broke apart because my left side does not hurt as bad as my right uh, now. So my right side is still killing me. It is what it is. Um, but I need to get back into filming and uploading and YouTube and all of this Etsy stuff, things like that. So yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's going on. Now here's the rest of my life story. All right. So basically that happened. It was very uncomfortable. Um, it's still happening, but like I said, I have to get going on with life. Um, also YouTube updates. Let's get into that real quick. Um, I'm not uploading on Mondays. Uh, Mondays are going to be my editing days where I edit for the rest of the week. So you guys will have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. My plan is Tuesday. It's all going to stay on here. I'm still having issues with my other YouTube channel. So everything's going to stay on a mom's homemade lifestyle. As you guys saw, it's a mom's homemade and then lifestyle and recipes. Um, so Two days will be food-related content. Two days will be other content uh, like this. Life updates. What's going on? Um, ignore airplanes. I live by Nellis Air Force Base. Sorry. Um, you guys, I'm in the flight path from Nellis. So you guys are going to hear them. I apologize. We had a huge rainstorm on Sunday. That was crazy. Um, but yes, I will start uploading Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days a week still, but with Jameson going into school, that gives me the week to film and edit and upload and, and respond to comments and things like that while he's in school. Once he comes home, if you guys comment or whatever, and I don't get back to you right away, then that's probably means Jameson's home from school or... I have a doctor's appointment or something, but more than likely, Jameson's home from school, and um, I won't respond till the next day or when he goes to sleep. I check my phone periodically throughout the day anyways. I'm on my phone quite a bit, so there's that. Um, Jameson starts August 9th. We are starting school here. Um, we have some damages in the house that recently happened. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, hi, go follow me. A mom's homemade. I will leave it down below. And if you cannot find it down below, just know you can find it. If you click on my main page and my banner, you can click on those links on my banner. So like Vanessa's channel is on my banner. I know that. 
my Etsy shop is on my banner. My Instagram's on my banner. So just go over to my banner up on the top and click it. Um, another thing, a lot of people have been asking me to do, hey, I don't want to purchase keychains or whatever, but I want to also send you guys something. So, and this is family, you guys, friends, people. So I will leave my Amazon store or my Amazon wish list down below in the description box. That way you guys can still send stuff, but I don't have a P.O. box here. I was going to start a P.O. box, but there's no reason to because we're about to leave anyways. So I will leave that in the description. Um, Janice is starting school here. We thought we were going to have to fix the leak. We had a, a quote on fixing the leak, but our realtor saying, don't fix it. We'll just put it in the paperwork that it's not fixed, and you guys can still sell the house. I'm not quite sure how that works. I mean, it's not my house. It's my mom and dad's house. And even in Florida, it's going to be mom and dad's house. Um, I live with my mom and dad. They help us. We help them. It works. Not only that, Jamison and my mom have a really, really strong bond that I cannot take that away. My mom is having a lot of health issues, so prayers are are helpful right now. Um, she does not want me to disclose information. Just know it's super stressful uh, with her health issues going on right now. So, I mean, um, Jameson's bond with her is so strong, it's insane. So, we're staying with them, we're moving with them, and that's how it's going to happen. So, um, we are downsizing a lot, we're getting rid of a lot, uh, so, it's just a lot going on right now, and... Yes, we're moving. The reason I took the break was in the beginning. I have to take care of my health, too. Uh, we're still moving. We should be out of here by the end of the year. I don't have exact dates. But hopefully, Jamison will only be in school six to eight weeks here. Hopefully. Could be a little longer. Maybe not. We don't know. But... That is what's going on. Um, if you guys want to message me, private message me on Instagram, totally fine. Um, but that is what's going on. Amazon link in the description. Everybody else is doing amazing. Me and my mom, on the other hand, <laughs> are not. But issues with myself will pass. Issues with my mom will get medical treatment. And all is good. So... Yeah. We don't have answers of what's going on with my mom, though. That is one thing. We don't have answers. Test A and test B should have went like this and explained the situation of what's going on, and it's not. So, uh, prayers for my mom. Prayers that these kidney stones will break apart. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, be smart, be strong, be safe. You guys will have a video tomorrow. And Thursday and Friday, what's for dinners tomorrow? So, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.